Thank you for calling. We have Visa Social Security Administration. My name is Officer Joshua Brown. How can I help you today? Yeah, this is Kissel. I got a message to call you guys. Something with my Social Security card. I don't know what. Okay. So, when did you receive this call, sir? Yeah, it was about 3.30. I just got home from work. Okay. So, could you give me your first and your last name, please? Frank Kissel. Just give me one moment. Could you spell out your first and your last name for me, please? Frank, F-R-A-N-K. Kissel, K-I-S-S-E-L-L. -L. Frank Kissel. Mr. Kissel, now the reason we contacted you today was because we have found a few suspicious activities that were done using your personal information. Do you have any knowledge about this? Well, no, I don't have knowledge about this. That's why I called you. Now, when was the last time you visited the state of Texas? See, in Texas, I've never been to Texas. I'm in Buffalo. Because right, because right now there's a person or a criminal in the state of Texas who has access to your information. He or she is using your information to commit a crime. Did you receive any case ID number? Case ID number from who? The police department. No. Okay, what? could you please grab a pen and a paper, sir? Go ahead. All right. What I will do is yep. note down my name first. I will... Okay, transfer this call to when I will transfer this call to my agent and she will give you the information about this case and then once she is done with the information she will be transferring this call to me okay well transferring okay go ahead what do you want all right please stay on the line give me one moment thanks for holding the line yeah well well sir this is officer Lizon from social security administration officer who? the reason who? officer Lizon you got to spell that, ma'am. I don't know how to spell that. Well, L E Z O N. That's my name, sir. So. Okay. Well, the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement it can file on the social security. That's what the other guy said. Then he transferred me to you. Well. So now what? Hello? Hello, where'd you go? Hello? Yeah, hello. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah. Well. Can you please verify me with your date of birth, sir? 3-16-50. Sorry, sir? 3-16-19-50. All right, thank this you so much, Kissel. sir. This is Kissel. This is Kissel. All right. Can you please verify me the full last digit of your social security number? 8133. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind information. Okay. Well... Now, I could like to request you to grab a piece of paper and pen so that you can note down my employee ID number and the case ID number for your future reference, sir. I already got it. The other guy told me to get one. I got one right here. Go ahead. All right. All right. Okay. My employee ID number is 78594. I repeat, 78594. Austin Apple, Susan Charlie. What was the last thing? Apple Charlie something? I don't know. A as an apple, C as in Charlie. Now, what's this number mean? That's my employee ID badge oh, number, sir. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, okay. And your case ID number is D as in doctor, C as in Charlie, Charlie. 29874298742. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there. I got 2987. Right. What's after that? Four. 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 Well, now I will go ahead and read out the legal affidavit of a case file. While I'm doing so, do not interrupt. You will be giving a fair chance once I have completed my part. Are you agree with that, sir? I don't know. Well, I hope and believe you will not interrupt me while I'm giving you the information. I hope information. so too, but I don't know what I'm going to do when you start talking. How do I know if I got something to say? This is well, Kissel. Well, sir, have you ever been to the state of Texas before? I, I told the other guy, never been to Texas. No, I'm in Buffalo. Okay. Have you ever lost your cell phone? Are you violating the purse? My purse? Nope, never lost none of that. Well, sir, your Rafida vet say that your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. And we are taking this issue to the... FBI headquarters as we are having strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. Guilty of what? The in well, sir, I will explain to you. Well, I you wish you would. I, I'm guilty of something here. I don't even know what. 
This is Kissel. You sure you got the right guy? Well, I will let you know, Sue. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for your cooperation. Okay, yeah, go ahead. The investigation started when we found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas, and the car contained some blood and drugs received inside it. Hence, after investigation, we found that the car was fronted on your name and on your social, personal social information. There were two address linked with the title of the vehicle, and the address which were in the city of Rollhead was raided by the Rolled U.S. Marshal. What city? Rollhead. 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 Never heard of it. Yeah. Okay. Was Go raided on. by the U.S. Marshal, yeah. but unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. I wonder but where they we went. have. No one was inside. The residence, okay. but we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, Holy which cow. is abusive. That's a lot of mm -hmm. cocaine. Mm -hmm. okay. Which is an abusive drug and Certainly some documentation is. from okay. financial institutes uh, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. And this entire paper work has your name on it, and thousands of dollars has it's been got mining worked. Kissel on it. Mm -hmm from the bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we as the Social Security Administration, we are trying to find the state of taxes to file a case against you for drug trafficking as well as money laundering. Against me? So, Mr. Well, how? Let us know. Do you have any question regarding this? Yeah, how can you so arrest me if I didn't do anything? You say I'm guilty, I don't well, I'm not guilty of nothing. I don't know what you're talking about here. I'm Kissel. I drive a truck, a two ton right. truck. I don't all go right. to Texas. I drive uh -huh. a two ton truck. I can back it through a two car garage. And now you're telling well, me in this, this stuff. Regard, well, in this regard we have also checked your past record and we have found that your banking contents and genuine record and the social have no other complaint in the past. Well, I hope not. No, nobody ever mm -hmm. complained against my social security number. Uh -huh. That is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. Okay, so if I... you are able to help the Department of U.S. Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case on warrant on hold. Okay, put it on hold. As we have, mm -hmm, as we have found, the real culprit who has used your personal information toward his criminal activities so what is your intention toward this case? My intention? File, I don't is, know. Okay. File, which is going to be executed once this line gets disconnected. What's cool? Are You're you going to execute me. Well, are you ready to cooperate with me to catch the real culprit who is using under your name? Yeah. Well, please hold the line while I transfer the call to the senior officer with DEA who is the authorized DEA. person. I thought this was yes. Social Security. Well, DEA, Drugs Enforcement Administration, cause, okay? They what? Please hold the lights down. Okay. Oh, yes, am I speaking with Frank, Frank Kissel? This is Kissel. Yeah, Frank Kissel. Frank Kissel, that's me. All right, Mr. Frank, this is Officer Gavin Smith from DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration. And my badge ID is GF369027. Okay. All right, what do you want there? This is Kissel. I got I to gotta go pick up my truck. All right, Mr. Frank, here the case is completely about the drug trafficking, money laundering, and even an arrest warrant has been signed against That's you. That's what that lady said. So, I, I don't understand how you can arrest me. I'm Frank Kissel. I'm, I'm not in Texas. But here everything is on your name and I'm on your Buffalo. Social. Buffalo. But your name and your social has been used everywhere. Everywhere? Well, how could that be? I've never lost yeah, anything. That... I've never lost my wallet. I never lost anything. I don't know how it could be anywhere else. It's in my pocket. But there are 20 bank accounts. Seven credit cards are on your name, on your social. Well, they're not mine. That's for sure. I drive a two-ton truck. Why would I have 22 bank accounts? 20 bank accounts. 20. I don't have 20 either. I don't have any of that stuff. I but drive a two-ton truck. I don't account. have enough money to have 22, 20 bank accounts and seven credit cards or whatever. But that's what I'm telling you. There are 20 bank accounts, seven credit cards. 
Okay. And from each bank account, the wire transfers have been done locally, internationally. A lot of money has been sent out of the country, and that's the only reason why the U.S. Treasury is also involved in this case. Well, it certainly isn't me transferring money anywhere. I don't have any money to transfer. Right now, what do you want to do, Mr. Frank? Shall I don't I know what you want me to do. Authority? What do you want me to do? So that's what I'm telling you, that right now, let, uh, do you want me to contact the local authorities? They will come immediately, arrest you, they will take you to the jail. No, I don't want to go to the jail. i got to work tomorrow. i got to drive my two-ton truck all over the place. got to go into Niagara Falls. Oh, it's terrible driving in there. Traffic's terrible. So what i got to do? All right now, how many bank accounts do you have? i got one. One bank Which account. Bank? One bank account. Which bank? Titty Bank. Titty. Titty. I got the checking, I got the savings. You there? Okay, and uh, right now you can just check your balance online and you can just let me know what's, the, what's in your checking account and what's in your savings. Why would I tell you what's in my checking and savings account? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. A money laundering case. Money laundering? You understand? Huh? Yeah, it's a money laundering case. So I got to look and tell you how much money I have because somebody else used yeah. my thing. Is that the idea here? Yes. Let me sign into my bank account. Which bank it is? Titty Bank. Okay. In the checking, I got $549.50. Mm -hmm. Let me look in the savings. All right. The savings got one thousand two hundred fifty-six dollars, even. Okay. All right. Like I told you, I don't got a lot of money. I drive a truck. No, right now, first of all, they are going to close all the bank accounts, credit card, prepaid card, debit card. Everything is going to get closed. The bad ones, right? Not mine. Everything. Why would, Why would you close mine? Why would you close mine? Why? Your, your social is going to get suspended, okay? You can't. All right. No, it's your not all right. Security. What do you mean, all right? No, it's not all right. Your social security number is going to get suspended. Well, that's bullshit. I'll tell you that right now. What kind of government is this to shut mine down when somebody else used my stuff? It's Donald Trump's government. Yeah, well, that's not right. I don't care whose it is. It's bullshit. Ah. So, uh, how's things over in your country there, numbnuts? Is it as fucked up as my country? Huh? I'm talking to you there, Ben Chode. Ben Colody, I'm talking to you, tough guy. What? You heard what me. What did you say? I said I'm talking to you, tough guy. Before that, what did you say? I said, uh, you're a Ben Chode. Did you not what understand me? What is that? What is what? Uh, gee, turn to the guy next to you and ask him. He'll tell you. You Ben Colody. What is that? Turn to the guy next to you. He'll tell you. That little whole thing is full of you fuckers over there. Come on. Yeah, this is Kissel. On, okay? This is Kissel. Yeah, just hold on. I'll transfer the call. Just hold on. Yeah, transfer it. Do that, you fuck. You just, yeah, you just tell him, okay? Just hold on. Okay. Yes, hello. This is Kissel. What did... What did you say? This is Kissel. Sorry? I, I said this is Kissel. I, I, I don't know. He no, transferred Frank me Kissel. to you. Frank Kissel. He transferred me to you for something. I don't know why. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, so he's telling me that uh, you are giving the abusive word. Oh, no. He, no, I, not me. He called me a Ben Chode, whatever that is. I don't know. Uh-huh. Because he's telling me that uh, you are abusing him and uh, not speaking with the, you are speaking with him disrespectful. That's bullshit. I was very respectful of that fucker. So what do you want to do right now? I, I don't know. What do you want me to do there, uh, sizzle nuts? Okay. Okay. Not an issue. Okay. You scamming fuck. 